Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here come the Bengals now to take over. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. He'll look to throw. Got a man open. It's Chase. And a few little style points on the juke, but not much room to maneuver after that. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. They'll look to throw. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Dorrance Armstrong in on the stop. Well, give them credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stuff the run and then execute it. From the 43, here's a second down and nine. They'll set up to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. On now to punt, Brad Robbins. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. So out comes the Washington offense as they get their first shot. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. Every quarterback in the NFL has a little bit of his own signature style out there, but for this guy, he really plays the game in a different way. It's led to a couple double takes from us up here as we see him as something truly unique. It's not that he's just the strongest passer or the best athlete to ever play the position. He just has a certain way of seeing the action and it allows him to make some special plays out there. Here's a second and five now from the 25. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 
Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. But Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I but, think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing to their offense. And now as a defensive coordinator, You've got some extra work to do to prepare for him and their offense. I give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. Being chased, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Trey Hendrickson. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one, weren't able to do so. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down as his Cincy defense stands up on third. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. The kick by McManus is good, and the Commanders get out to a 3-0 lead. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And he returns this to the 22. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. They'll start on the ground with Moss. And a short pickup to about the 25. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. From the 25, here's second down and seven. He'll look to throw. Throw right side, going to be complete to Moss. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Here's third and three. Back to throw here. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Taken down at the 42. 
The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Second down at six now from the 42. He'll drop to throw. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. Usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Looking to throw. And that will be incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Now here's Brad Robbins now. Now it's Crowder. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Eckler now between the tackles. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. To throw on second down, Daniels caught by the tight end Ertz. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Off play action. Daniels finding Ertz again. Stops short of the 25. The second effort couldn't free him. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this. Back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. Looking to throw on second down. Daniels. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere. In the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And all the way down inside the five to the four. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Looking to throw. Daniels. Dodson has it. Touchdown, Commanders. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Commanders are able to extend their lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. 
So this drive spans seven plays. And it was Jahan Dotson with a touchdown catch to finish things off. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. And this may be the one to build on right here. It's the second quarter. They've got nothing on the scoreboard as of yet. They need to put something together, and this is a good start as they get the completion there for good yardage and a first down. Here's a give to Moss out of the shotgun. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Now a second and two. On play action, they'll throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 43. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. They'll look to throw now on first down. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up second down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Open man is chase complete. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. And the Bengals on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Back to throw again. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. On the handoff, running left, Moss. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. They'll drop to throw. And it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Now back to throw. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. 
Mike, it's been this negative way as he just got back to the line of scrimmage. But when you really analyze it, he took away a big play for the defense, made it an uneventful run because he avoided a sack and didn't lose yardage. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? They'll run the screen with Moss. Touchdown, Bengals! Zach Moss from six yards away. And the Bengals are back within a score. As the offense went on the field to start their last drive, you know they discussed in the huddle, hey, if we put one in the end zone here, we've put ourselves in a position to start making a comeback. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays, and it ends with a Bengals score. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And just shutting him off there. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had the touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll search for another score as they begin here with a first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels finding Ertz here on the out route. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. To throw on second down. Daniels and he'll get to the 29 yard line brought down there he turned that into a nice game gets him eight yards closer for third down they made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest from the gun on third down Daniels Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown on their last try. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Charlie Jones deep for Cincinnati. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give him five on the return. And the Bengals take over first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Wide open receiver complete. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. It's showtime, baby. Let's go, man. Think we, every week. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Back to throw. Now a short one to Gesicki. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Second and four. 
He finds his man complete. It's Moss. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This is third and one, very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. McPherson's kick is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the 1-2 to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermittent. Well, no sooner do the teams get to the locker rooms and they're running right back out. Halftime over, third quarter, ready to go. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This taken in right around the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Third and five. Off the play fake, Daniels. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. He'll get this to about the 38. 
Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. From the 38 now, here's second and six. Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. On third down, Daniels on the screen. This is Eckler. Into space at the 45. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It's a pickup of 12 and a commander's first down. Got that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Back to throw. Daniels. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he's got this down to the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Looking to throw. Daniels. This is swung out to Eckler. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And at his size, he's a smaller back. He can get him the football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. Eckler, they run left side, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Evades him at the 10. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Commanders have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Nothing like understanding where your escape hatches are as a quarterback. Here he's looking, but he knows he doesn't want to force anything. So when nothing avails itself, he slips past the rushers, takes it right up the middle, and takes it into the end zone. Extra point from McManus is good, and that makes it a 17-10 score.
Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. But Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored. Now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. Second and nine now. That's taken in by Higgins. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's the Bengals. They've got the football, but they trail here as we get rolling in quarter number four. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run, because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and ten here. A give running right Moss. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? They'll set up to throw. He'll swing this out to Moss. So the completion gets him just a yard, and now it's third and three. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Out of the gun now on third down. Over the middle, that's caught by Chase. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. They're going to run for it. It's Moss. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And the Commanders come through with a fourth down stand. So he needed the short yard as Charles. He elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third, unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. 
And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That good for 22 and a first down. I guess he was saving his best for last, so to speak. Longest run of the day coming here in the fourth quarter right there. And that type of run makes for a better night for him and his teammates, doesn't it? To be able to produce this late in the game can lead to some big smiles and satisfaction in the locker room after this one's over. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and seven. Back to throw. Daniels. This pass complete to McLaurin going across the middle. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 22-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. A handoff. It's Eckler. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Operating from the gun, Daniels. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. It's a first down on a gain of 10. They certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. On first down, Daniels. And it's caught. And he's brought down. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. They'll try the right side with Eckler. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. At this stage of the game, with a score where it is, the key here is to hand bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, it doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Austin Eckler, 15 yards. And the Commanders have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. McManus's point after is good, and the lead now up to 14. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Cincinnati's offense coming back here onto the field. They've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. 
Here's second and ten. He'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Moss. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And we're definitely getting towards the point of the game where not getting a lot of yards is secondary to keeping the clock moving. I mean, to me, that's a double win defensively. Short gain and some more time off the clock. Washington on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and eight. Oh, what a move. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is he analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he's brought down. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. They'll try again here. Second and ten. They're going to look to throw. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Well, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. They'll look to throw again. And that one too wide and incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Here we go. This is fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. The Bengals try it, but it doesn't work out. And Washington will have it on the turnover on downs. So now with a little over two minutes to play, the road back gets very difficult. Difficult, but still not impossible if they go ahead and play this thing out. Now the defense has to come up big. They've got to go for the strip of the football on each and every snap to try and give themselves a chance. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Looking to throw. Daniels. Target is to Dotson, and he's got him. And he's able to get this to the forward line before he's out of bounds. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Oh, 
So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Now a first carry here for Robinson. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Back to throw. Daniels. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This to make it a three-score game late. And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. So now the Bengals down by two touchdowns. A minute 37 remaining. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throw out wide is incomplete. Well, they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters, so I don't expect it to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything, and they force an incompletion there. Another try, second and ten now. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. And the crowd a major factor now. Here's third down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Pushing his way through. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him. And what I mean by that is what you said, third and long. Got to push it downfield to try to pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. The Washington offense set to take over. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. Washington about to close this one out as they are down to a knee. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So a victory here for the Commanders. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no point points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn.
And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.